Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So praise your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to be where you are. To any day.
Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Glory to his name. Bless the Lord. Praise God. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. Moving. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet.
glory. Hallelujah. So we're going to take it down a bit and sing. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He has given Jesus Christ His Son. Sometimes, brethren, we have to have a heart of gratitude because God has been so good to us. God has been so faithful to us. And he continues to bestow his blessings upon us, even though we don't deserve it. So today we're going to sing give thanks with a grateful heart. Bless the Lord. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give
Because of who 
praise the Lord. Many country people cannot come out and gather like this to worship God. This morning we have a privilege. In spite of the many circumstances, in spite of the many difficulties, we can still come out and give God worship. Praise the Lord. Come with me. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. I invite you to turn your hymn now to him. 401. Does Jesus care when my heart is pain? Praise God. Also in that privilege.
Welcome and the Lord Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is he. Saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Continue to worship Him. 
because he's worthy to be praised. Um, I did not announce that Sister um, Shaboya celebrates birthday in different notes that last week. We did. Praise God. And you indeed had a great time and we continue to pray that God will bless you, prosper you, and give you many more years to come. Amen. I also want to announce that Sister Winsome is asking for prayer and uh, whatever the situation is, God is able. Amen. He's a God who heals and he's a God who delivers. And so we continue to pray our strength that God will open up new opportunities for her and that she will surrender all to him because that's how we will experience the deliverance that we need. God bless you today as we hand back to our moderator in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I want to welcome you, Bishop Williams, today to the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We pray that God will continue to favor you as you continue to lead us flock. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Are you having a wonderful time? Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yes, this morning I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord. Yesterday was not such a good day. Yesterday would have been recorded a 35th birthday. And then you know, I was sitting at home about 2 o'clock and then something said to me, I remember what was my birthday today. He said, and instantly I started to feel a pain right here in the neck of my room. I believe you may have that pain until 1 a.m. this morning. And I say thank you, Jesus. All I can say is thank you, Jesus. You know what? Thank you, you made me a mother. Thank you, you made me feel the pain that a mother feels to bring a child in the world and to lose a child. I said thank you, Jesus. No, don't get the opportunity. Many of us get the opportunity and we abuse the opportunity. But this morning, in spite of I'm giving God thanks. I'm giving God thanks. It's a wonderful thing to worship God. Hallelujah. Standing here, it is a beautiful smell. But deep inside, sometimes I'm torn. I'm broken to pieces. But you know what? I remember there is a God. Yes. A God who has saved me. He has keep me. No, amidst all sin and shame, He still keeps me. He's wonderful to me. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm not going to quit. I still got a burn for Christ. No matter what comes my way, I'm still burning for Him. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm nothing. I am nothing. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So I'm here and I'm still worshiping. And I thank God. And I'm not the only one who's going to be in a church. Don't look at it and say, Don't be the party because you are not alone. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And that is why we stand today. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is now time for the offering. And today, the offering is going to be an offering with a difference. I'm going to invite the worship to come and stand at the altar. And you're going to walk up with the offering this morning. Every child, every adult, everybody. Even a two year old, you're going to give a ten dollar for two in the last week this morning. Because God is going to break some change today. Hallelujah. God wants to break some change today, you know. And He wants to take out some shackle off of it. Yeah. But because sometimes we sit down and we are keeping the past, so God wants to move us. Remember, I tell Peter, come. And Peter starts to walk on water by faith. This man is going to put our offering by faith to the Lord and ask God to remove some curse, remove some chain that is holding us down. And let our blessing really in the name of Jesus, many of us are plagued by sickness. Many of us are plagued by depression and frustration. All kind of and, and, and. But this morning, we're going to put them to Jesus. Because it's a cause of tears upon me. Because I care for you. Praise the Lord. And if you don't give it to him, then you won't get a release this morning. Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus, you are the center of our joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You are the hope of our salvation. And in everything that we do, Father, we exalt you because you are the center of our joy. Father, we come in on a time before you and we offer our sacrifice, Lord, and worship to you. We 
praying, God, that you will receive it unto yourself. We pray that it will come up as a sweet smelling savior into your nostril. And we pray, mighty God, that you will receive from our hands. And we ask that you will pour down heaven's dew upon our living. Lord, we pray that you will pour down the press down, the shaking together. And we're asking you this morning for an overflow. Father, we pray that you will overflow. Lord God, in our store and in our basket. Lord, you promise to rebuke. Lord, in empowering spirit. And even now, Almighty God, I stand on your promises. And I rebuke every devouring spirit over our finances in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, accept our worship today as we give it to you in love. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In the shadow, I will abide. Raging over me in the rock.
Jesus. Find a hiding place in Jesus. Find a comfort zone in yeah. Jesus. Where you hide yourself and find peace. And so this morning, I tell the word. And I tell it to somebody today. Find a hiding place in Jesus. Anything where you found, anything where you want, is in Jesus. Nothing man, nothing boyfriend, nothing girlfriend, nothing friend. It is in Jesus. He is the source of our help. My help coming from the Lord. In Him do I put out my trust. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm happy today to know that God will come and rescue me. When I was nothing, when I was nothing, God came and He made me into something. Attack on people that will pray for me.
made us free. We are free to worship. We are free to give him praise. But you want to ask someone and say, don't take this freedom and abuse the freedom that you get. Use it carefully. Because some people use the freedom carelessly in a way. And they don't want them to become we're free to do what we want. But yes! But not in what Christ is talking about. This freedom was freedom from the law and the bondage of the Old Testament. That would bring the death. If you break the law and you are caught, you will be, be killed. Stone to death. And the brother no man to Jesus saying, this one was caught in the very act. And put on a Moses law said, for right away, she was condemned. Even before the trial, she was condemned. But Jesus being the, the, the man who told to liberate the liberator. Those two down and roads. The Bible says the son. Say, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Nobody was able to cast a stone. The woman was independent from the first. That very moment. And Christ said to her, look now man. Go your way now. But say no more. So Christ gave her that independent. Not only from the crowd, but from death. We are celebrating that independence today. We are celebrating in such a way that we can come and give God thanks for all his benefits. And I want to speak to us today on topic. Stand fast. Stand fast means to stop. I to stay. There's a harm term that is used regularly. Stand fast, soldier. Means the soldier must stop. And Paul was saying to the Galatians, let me not go back to the old thing and the law business and the, and the thing, man. Because we have been liberated from that. We have been set free from that. So come now to Christ. Because in those days, the Bible says, one of the law, you break the whole law. Your old law. And Paul wanted them to make sure that they understand the thing. We understand the principle of going forward. That we are liberated. We are free to lift our hands and worship. We are free to say thank to Jesus. We are free. But we must stand fast in Christ. Yes. In Exodus 33, we are Moses was standing fast. And he said to Jesus, to, to, to God, if I am found favor in thy sight, then show me your glory. Cry, God said to him, there's a rock by me. There's a rock by me. And I will hide in the cleft of the rock. We can stand fast. And I will pass. My faith you won't see. But you see my bad part. And the Bible said, God hid him in the rock. Today we have the same opportunity to go into the rock. Today we have the same opportunity to hide ourselves in the same rock. And that rock, of course, is Jesus Christ. That's why we have a religious believe everything. It is Jesus himself who is the rock. Jesus himself who is the solid rock of our salvation. For we are going to hide in this rock. But we are going to hide in unity. We are going to hide in love. We are going to hide in peace. Okay, Paul said, if you backbite the virgin, then there is no place for us. It doesn't matter. We have to hide in the rock. In unity. Stand fast. Stand fast in this unity. Stand fast in this love. In this liberty where Christ has made us free. Free from all curse. Free from all unrighteousness. The old law was a covenant where if you break the law, the will be stoned to death. But this new covenant speaks of grace and mercy. This new agreement gives us liberty. This new agreement don't go and tell the people what to eat, what not to eat. This new government covenant is a new agreement where it is oneness unto God. By which, if you not be holy, you can't see God. It is as simple as that. Oneness unto God, which is not as a, a, a big big, a big stick over us. 
is our reasonable service unto God. Holiness unto God. Stand fast in holiness. Stand fast in prayer and supplication. Stand fast in love. Stand fast. Ready to give a word of encouragement to somebody. Somebody might be going through some difficulty this morning. But I want to tell you, whosoever you are, wherever you are, stand fast in Jesus. Stand fast in Jesus. When you stand fast in Jesus, you are protected. When you stand fast in Jesus, you are sure that better will come. One summer, the years ago, said better must come. You don't know when we are going to talk. But by faith, what we are saying today is better shall come as long as we stand fast in Jesus. So a person is standing fast and some feet can. But they say, they are all the ends. They are all of the corner. Standing fast, you are right. But we hear in the news from time to time, drive by shooting. Can't stand fast no more. So the corner is just left here. But when we stand fast in Jesus, no good man, no devil from here. We are protected because we are standing fast in the shadows of the rock. And that rock is Christ Jesus. Stand fast, church! Stand fast, church! Let me see the eyes of those who are standing fast in Jesus. Show the praise the Lord!
If you 
life. Oh God, teach her through those situations that you are a God who loves her unconditionally and you will help her. I pray for Brother Dane this morning. Alain Bloomfield is before you. Lord, you know the situation, sickness and trouble and trials. Oh God, but you are enough for all of our situation. Your grace is sufficient. Mighty God, I pray that you will be a rock to him as a man. Lord God, perhaps his ego and Lord, all that identity of a man is stolen because the enemy would have come upon him with this sickness that would cause him not to be all that he wants to be and desires to be in his family. Well, I pray for him this morning that through your strength you will enable him to understand that you are still with him in this hour. Lord, touch him this morning. Oh God, touch every part in his body. Mighty God, touch every bone, touch every organ, Lord God. Touch his mind, Father. Oh God, God help him to, to have an understanding of where you are taking him. Oh God, to understand the situation. Lord, sometimes uh, the, the situation leaves us puzzled. But help Ale Bloomfield today to know that you are still God. Mighty God, give him the mind of Christ today. Father, I pray for Sister Pearlie as she stands before you, that God, whatever this woman is requiring of you today, that you will grant it. Jesus, give her your peace. Oh, God, cause her to know you, Father. Lord, in this time when we celebrate freedom, may our spirit be free indeed, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for my brother, mighty God, I am presenting before you his name, Oh, Brother Riley, yes, Lord, you know his name. You know Brother Riley's name, Lord God. You know what he needs. He stands before you, Father. Oh, God, you know everything about him, even before he was conceived. And so, Lord, I pray this morning that you will help him to know you, Father God, to get more deeply into you, to understand you. Oh, God, to be able to secure and to, yes, secure his salvation, the salvation that you are freely offering. Lord, touch his life and make it a blessing. Father God, help him, Father, to not quit at this hour, but to know you in this time, Father. Let there not be a falling away, but let there be a lifting up in his spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for Sister Campbell, who stands before you, Father. She's in your hands this morning. Oh God, I call her name to you. Lord, you know her more than I do. Lord, strengthen her. Strengthen her for you. Oh God, bless her and lift her up. Remember, Minister Adams, strengthen the woman. Lord Jesus, you are the risen Christ and you have risen up with healing in your wings. Heal your daughter, heal your mind, heal your body, heal your spirit. Cause her to know you, Father, in this time, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for Sister uh, Pollyanna's mother. Jesus. Ah, oh, God, you know her name this morning. Sister Isis, Lord, I call Sister Isis' name to you. Oh, my dear God, you said that we must pray all the time and not give up. So, Lord, I call her name right now. Sister Isis, I call her name on earth. Oh, God, and I call her name in heaven, Father. I pray, Father God, that you will just embrace this woman with grace, Lord. Embrace her by your spirit. Empower her. Oh, God, refresh her and restore her heart. Mighty God, and cause her to experience your wisdom, even at this time, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Sister Beverly Powell, who stands before you, God. You know everything about this lady, journeying so far to come into your presence. And so this morning, I pray, Lord God, that you will touch her. Oh God, honor her faithfulness this morning. Mighty God, Lord, you know what she desires of you. Oh God, like you know it more than I. But I pray this morning for healing to her body, healing to her mind. Oh God, healing. Oh God, wherever she needed this morning. For when you died, everything, oh God, is presented to us. We have a legal right to all the things that are in you. And healing is one such. Heal your daughter this morning. Cause her to flourish in the name of Jesus. Bless her and bless her household in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Father, I pray for Ella Stewart as he ministers the word this morning. Father, I pray that you will give him even more insight into what your word is saying, cause him to come into wisdom, help him to flow in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for good understanding and wise counsel, oh God, and the spirit of discernment to rest upon your man's servant. Lord, I pray for the, the perfect interpretation of your word. Cause him, oh God, to understand who you are in your word, Father, in your written word. Help him to know you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And as he continues to speak to the church, Father, I pray that his life will line up with yours and you will do even greater works in the name of Jesus. Oh God, remember Brother Colin this morning. Oh God, I give him to you. Lord God, a man who worships, he loves to worship you. Lord, let worship continue to spring forth from his heart in the name of Jesus. Break down everything in him that is not of you. Cause him, oh God, to rise in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Bless his household, bless his wife in Jesus' name. Father, help them, oh God, as a well, husband and wife team, oh God, to team up with you and to know you even in this hour. Lord, I thank you, oh God, that you are doing it even now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for Brother French, Anthony Ishmael French. Mighty God, his middle name Ishmael means God has heard. I pray this morning that you will hear his heart's cry, that you will hear it when he opens his mouth to you, Father, that you will hear the prayer that is on his heart, that God, you will lift him from where he is to an even higher place in you. Lord God, that he will experience you, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your peace, Lord. That God, he will have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. And as he hungers, God, you will feed him and fill him up with the word that is so rich and that will make him fat and flourishing. Lord, I give him to you this morning. Because he is yours, oh God, and you are his. And you, oh God, know what you want to do with his life. Oh God, I pray for a trans, uh, a, 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 a transportation, mighty God, from where he is to an even higher place in you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Minister Young this morning. Father, that you continue to break out in your daughter in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. I pray that God, as she continues to trust you, you will be her peace and her joy, her life, her strength. Oh God, that you will come close to her and to understand that you have not gone away, but you are very close to her. In the name of Jesus. Remember Sister Millie this morning, God. Remember Sister Millie. Oh God, and oh Father Minister Charmaine Monroe this morning. Lord God, increase her, increase them this morning, increase them, increase them in their ministry areas, increase them. Yes, Lord, increase them. Even Pastor Joy Williams this morning, Father, strengthen her, her body, strengthen her spiritually. Help her, Lord Jesus, to know you, Father, in this season, in this time. Oh, God, as you have carried her for such a long journey and you have carried her to this point, Father, you are able, like Joshua, oh, God, to, for her to take the mantle from Moses and to move ahead. Lord, you are able this morning, so give her the strength of Joshua, mighty God, as she move into the promised land in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I just present everyone to you, the ushers this morning. Lord God, I present them to you, Sister Chule, Sister Alma, in the name of Jesus. These are your people, Father. I present them to you, God, that you will do in their lives. Oh God, the amazing things that you want to do as they open their steps Remember Bishop Williams, God. He has the task over this whole soul. Father, I pray for even more wisdom. Oh, God, new insight and fresh anointing. Lord, that you will spend some time in your presence, more time with you, so God, you can tell him what you want him to do hereafter. Oh, we should just lead the flock, oh God. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, my God. And so you know where you want your flock to be and what you want them to eat and where you want them to go, Father. You know, oh God, the different ministry areas, Lord. So I pray that your son, my God, will understand what it is that's on your heart for this time and season and that, Lord,
body will come into it so that the church can rise up and be a church that will pull more sons unto you. Oh, mighty God, help us and hear us this morning. I pray for Sister Jillian, even as she led out the worship this morning, Father, that you will continue to break out the breakers anointing upon this woman's life. So much is in her. Greatness is in her. Oh, God, there's ministry in her. Oh, mighty God, I pray that you will open up herself to you even more so that you can deposit your very self in her and that she can come to a place. Oh God, that place that you have in store for her today. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for her Mona, even as she has returned. Lord, I pray that you continue to lay your hand upon her. Almighty oh, God, that you will do some great work in her life. Mighty God, that you will cause her to know you, God, who to know is life eternal. Lord God, that you will break down some walls, Lord. Oh, mighty God, that you will open some doors. Oh, God, you will shut some doors that need to be shut. And you will open up some doors, God, in our life. Cause our God to experience the real you. My God, in this time and season. Oh, God, help our Father God to come into this opportunity that you have given her, this freedom. Fully, Lord, taking hold of it and never let it go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, I pray for all the young people today. Sister Shabaya, Sister Rochelle, Brother, Brother, Brother Raj, yes, Lord, all the young people. Oh, Brother Raycar Jr., Brother Raj, hey, Lord, I bundle them up before you, all the young people who are in, in this sanctuary, mighty God, and even those who will come to this sanctuary. Lord, you are seeking a nurse for this church. Oh, God, I pray a break out in this place. My God, I pray that we will have various ministries through the youth in this community and in this church. We will have the dance ministry. We will have all kinds of different miming and all kinds of, oh God, of sign language ministry. Mighty God, I pray, oh God, for the youths, Lord, that they will rise and shine and give glory to Almighty God. And Father, it will be our desire to see them come to you to be raised up, to be mighty giants, to be the Joshua generation, to be the movers and the shakers in this nation, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that you will help the elder woman to teach the younger one how to live godly lives. Mighty God, I pray this morning that God of our light will shine here in battle. Lord Jesus, be our fortress, be our bulwark that never fails. Mighty God, hear our cry this morning. Lift up your people this morning. Shake out of the ashes this morning. Oh God, let us to stand on you this morning, mighty God. Shut the hands of the wicked over our life. Plead our cause with those who strive with us. Fight against those who fight against us. Take all the shield and buckle and stand up for our help, Lord. We trust in you, God. We are your children. Mighty God, and we look to your Father as we say, we call you this morning. Come and do a mighty, mighty work. Come and do a mighty thing in us, God. Lord, let's still not please. There's so much more. There's so much work to be done. Oh, God, we need the strength. Financial backing. And we need the spirit. We need your life, Lord. To flow in our individual hearts. We need your life, Lord. To flow in our spirits. God, for us our salvation. Oh, mighty God. Oh, God. Oh, you've given us salvation, Lord God. But we are still tied up. Oh, some of us are still tied up. Oh, mighty God. You are not pleased today. For you want to do a, a work in us. We are your hands and feet. We are your battle axe. You have no other hand. You have no Oh God, you have no other spirit but us, Lord. You have deposited your spirit in us. Mighty God, may our spirit be refreshed today. Even as we celebrate independence. Oh God, we are celebrating independence spiritually. Oh God, but some of us, we have learned helplessness. Oh God, we are set free, but we are still in the age. Oh mighty God. When you 
Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his great high throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God be now dominion, majesty, and power until he comes. And the people of God says, Amen. 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 God bless you. We want to announce that on about the 4th or the 5th of September, we want to do our back to school arrangement and treat to our young people. So those of you who have your contributions, you can um, contribute towards that. And uh, already we are expecting contributions towards the Jacob Crawford Scholarship Fund, which will be used in honor of our late overseer. So God bless you today as you give to the work, as you give to the young people, and we know that the Lord shall richly, richly bless you. Amen. The right hand of God is planting in our land, planting seeds of the right hand of God is writing in our land, writing with power.